Hi, hello. Uh, so today in this video, we are going to learn a bit about edges of metaship. So what is edges of metaship? It is a uh, basically a software that allow us to create a three D image or three D object uh, based on a series of photograph. So on the screen, basically there are four main parts that we should at least know in the software. So the first one is the menu options up here. We have file, edit, view, workflow, model, photo, ortho, tools, and help. But most of the time, we are going to use the workflow option and also the file option. The workflow option will allow us to work on our 3D models later, but and file option will allow us to export our project. So that's about many options. And then we have the central display up here. So this is where your 3D model or 3D object are going to be displayed. So basically you can move your 3D object here like this one. I forgot to mention uh, in this one when uh, our 3D models are being displayed, it also shows uh, other information such as point clouds and also other things and then below here uh, this is where your photos are going to be displayed so let's say you upload or we upload our photos and then it will show up here all right and then to our left side there is large workspace this is where your list of models and projects are going to be displayed so you can uh, check one by one. Alright, so let's move on to what is chunk. As you can see on the workspace, there is chunk one, but we can also add another chunk. So this this work chunks can uh, can be considered as workspace. So consider them as different workspaces that are independent of one another. It means that if you have like more than one project or more than one uh, model that you want to work on, then you can add different model into this chunk. So let's say I have five uh models that i want to work on and then i will add them to chang one two three four and five so if you make any changes to uh either of this chunk it won't affect the other chunk let's say i have five uh rocks five different rocks and then i will add Rock one to chunk one to chunk two, three, four, and five. Other than that, these chunks also can be merged to create a singular model. And then um, we're going to upload photos in this software. There are several ways to upload or to import photos from our device to this software. First one is you can just right click in this photo, just add photo. And then just add open. Or you can uh, basically from the workflow, add photo. And then just add image. It will appear here in the chunk five because just now I I was at chunk five. But if you want to see, we're going to so 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 we can also add here, just right click on this chunk and then add, add photos. Alright, so I'm going to add these four photos here. 
my chunk line. So can you see this chunk five has two photos and chunk one has four photos. And I'm gonna delete on chunk five because we don't need chunk five. We only need chunk one chunk in this uh video. So I'm gonna remove chunks. So we uh, will work with one chunk in this video. So I have four photos here, as you can see, in chunk one, right? So this is show mass option. So if you click on show mass option, it will uh, show the details of your photos either they have mass or no mass so my photos have no mass yet i have not created any mass on my photos yet so i'm going to add more photos because we will work on uh, this structure here so Right. Total eighty one photos, eighty one cameras. So the three D model object will appear here if you align all of these photos, align photos. But we're not going to do that in this video. We're going to do the align photos later. Let's say I want to make a 3D model of this structure here. Therefore, I don't want any of uh, unimportant details in this photo. Therefore, I have to remove them. So to remove or to mask, uh, we need intelligent scissors. And then I will create mask on this photo. By the way, uh, masking is not uh, necessary, it's just an option because we want to make the process a bit quicker. We don't want to waste uh, any time. So we're just going to... We're just going to remove all these details here. Actually, you, uh, if you choose to remove all the details after your 3D model, no, I mean, you can also uh, remove or clear up after your 3D models have been created by the navigation. Then CTRL, Shift A. So yeah, we have this structure here, and then this dark part of this of this photo will not be considered by the software and will not be processed by the software. So we can also invert the mask if we want. Right, click on this photo mask and then invert mask. Selected cameras, yes, okay. All right, this is how we invert the mask, but we don't want that because we want this structure here. We don't want the grass around here. So. all right so that's it for this video so in this video we have learned on uh, what is the edges of meta shape and then what are the four main parts that we should at least know how to import photos and then how to create marks on the photos
later we will learn about uh, how to align the photos and so on thank you